Hi, um, today we're gonna work on how to compare and contrast sounds um, when it's two sounds. I think we did a similar video before, but I noticed that, that sometimes kids may not be readily segmenting a word or they may not remember how to segment a word. So this is just to help with that process. So first of all, we will start with two sounds only, okay? And then I'll get the kid to say at, and then they will do at, which is much easier if it's a vowel consonant. And then I'll use reflexive questioning as we have discussed, you know, what's the first sound? Ah, what's the last sound? T. This is if they know first and last. If not, then I'll be like, this is first, this is last. What's this one? Ah, what's this one? T. Okay, where's the t? Okay, how about this one? Ah, so there are some practice you have to do before we can do the following. So when it comes to consonant vowel, I know I noticed that some kids are struggling more or if they know how to spell already, they may have trouble segmenting a word when they know the spelling already. So emphasize the word sound when you're practicing. For example, I may get the kid to say bye. And then they will say bye, and I'll get them to segment. So if you, they may say bye, but then if you ask them what the first sound is, they may say, or if you do this, what's that one? They will say bye, or if they may say b, bye. I usually use reflexive questioning when they do that. Oh, it's the word bye bye, and they will be laughing, so it's like stress free. So this is helpful. Try to place the blocks apart. Okay, bye. They say bye. Let's put it, this one is b i. Some kids will say b y and I'll reflexive back. But why? And they'll be like, yeah, it doesn't make sense. So if they can do b i and together by, what's the first sound? B, what's the last sound? I, and um, if they are already doing like three sounds, it's just segmenting can sometimes be inconsistent, then I, might, I may do by shy. They will say by shy. Now we are working up to four sounds already. They will be doing b i sh i. Which one changed? This one. Make sure they are touching, looking, and saying the sound at the same time. It's crucial that they do that. If your child is not yet segmenting um, consistently, then make sure they are segmenting the two sound consistently. If they don't understand first or last, then make sure you teach them first, last, even without the sounds, okay? What's the first block? This one. What's the last block? This, okay, with only two. When you are working on three, make sure they understand first, middle, or last, okay? What's the first one? This one. What's the last one? Show me the middle one, okay? This one is first. What's that one? Last. Now, with only two sounds, your child may not be getting it because of reduced verbal working memory. So we're strengthening from two sounds, okay? Moving up to three sounds. We're, we're moving up to two and two and compare and contrast. So they may have reduced verbal working memory if they are struggling. They may also not be able to segment all the words they know. So make sure you are modeling that and use reflexive questioning as we have discussed before. Third, they may not be understanding what same and different this is. So you may want to do some auditory um, just testing, you know, tell me if these are the same. Mm, are they the same? Okay, yes or no, or my, by, are they the same? So if they they cannot under, they cannot answer these questions 100% of the time, okay? At, eat, are they the same word? Or at, eat, are they the same? Then you have to backtrack further to teach them what same and different is, you know? These are not the same, okay? These two are the same. Work on grouping. So notice a lot of times we would have to really go back to the beginning to realize where um, the gaps or little holes of like a lack of understanding is and fill it up. So I hope this video is helping you to help supporting a child's phonemic awareness. And um, that's it. Thank you.